What? Presented by the Handyman's Crafting Guild. Wait, my bolo tie. It was my grandmother's. Until it wasn't. Dude. <laughs> Sorry. Do you need support? Or do you have friends to give you that support? If your answers to those two questions are yes and no, respectively, then this video is for you. We're gonna fill out the last two components in the element wheel of the homunculi. If you need a homie that can be the shining beacon that'll shine through the darkness of night, betwixt, betwixt the darkness of night, then the light homunculus might be for you. She fills an interesting role that involves around buffing your team, giving them more turns through attack bar gain, or just forcing them to attack. What are we talking about next? Where are we? Skill time. Skill well, time, baby! So we, her top two second skills both heal for 35% one ally. Or one ally for 35%. One of them gives a two turn attack buff. And the other one will just give an ally a turn. So do you want more attack later? Or do you want to attack right now? Her top two third skill choices are fast pace, which fills up one of your allies attack bars and one of your enemies all the way up, but your ally gets a speed buff. And counter face that gives a two turn defense buff and counter attack buff to your whole team. I tell you where that's really good, but it's a spoiler. You're gonna find out later. Her bottom two second skill choices heal for 20% and grant immunity. One of them grants a shield and the other one will boost your attack bar. So do you want more shield now or more turn now? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Don't think about that one. You gotta be a handyman to understand what I just said. Her bottom third skill choices are rock on and I forgot the other one because I only have the rock on one. It's turning point. Turning point. It's what I was waiting on my love life to happen and never did. Dude, do you want, do you want to talk? I need a home. <laughs> I'm here for you, dude. That's why I made but you. But you can't use me in RTA. Oh. Rock on grants an attack buff and makes three of your allies attack together. It's a little bit like Raul. It's the other way around. Raul copied her. She came first. Yeah, that's true. Turning point balances out all of your HP ratios, cleanses you, and gives you a defense buff. Wow, that's a lot. A lot of words. If you add more words to something, it means it's better. If you add more words to it, it's probably Odin's passive. That thing is a book. I've given up reading it. I stopped after a few. I've chapters. read the Bible, but not that. It's too long. If no. by any chance your favorite character of a, a certain movie is, <laughs> do you have any idea how much of that we could use? We could use about twenty percent of what you just said. <laughs> The Dark One's main thing is stripping with a sub-theme of, like, time manipulation? It's dope. Yeah, it's basically slowing, extending debuffs, and messing up with attack bars. Decreasing your cooldowns and increasing theirs. The Light and Dark Homunculi both share very similar first skills. The Light Homunculi has one that hits three times and has a chance to reduce attack bars on each one, and the other one hits once, still has a chance to reduce attack bars, and also strips. Just change the word, reduce attack bar for absorb, and you have the Dark Homunculi's first skill. Then when you reach the fork in the road at the top of the skill tree, you can choose it between a skill that either strips and adds a defense break or strips and adds a stun. Finally on his last skill, it has one of the most gap creating skills in the game. You increase cooldowns by two on your enemies and slow them down for the same amount of turns, and you increase the attack speed on your whole team and decrease their cooldowns for the same amount of turns. It's just as good as it sounds in TOA. The other third skill option sleeps an enemy for three turns and applies a two turn slow on the rest of the enemies. And just like Alusia, it can't be resisted. The second part of the skill tree focuses on either stripping or extending the duration of the debuffs on your enemies. And for your second skill choices in that skill tree, you get to choose between exactly those two options. And finally, her last two third skill options. One of them strips all enemies and has a 30% chance to both stun and sleep everybody. Or you can choose a skill that puts random debuffs for two turns on your enemies, but this debuff that they don't already have. It's any of these. <laughs> now that you know everything about these tools, I'm sure you're asking yourself, where can I use them? The Light Homunculus used to have a presence in the Rift of Worlds on a survivability build. One of the ones that gives a defense buff and heals your team. The Dark One was also used there, but strictly on the build that would apply random debuffs. To increase damage. In TOA, the Dark One shines a lot because she can reduce cooldowns, increase cooldowns in the enemy, and create a gap in attack speed between your team and the other monsters. I see what you did there. The Dark One shines. 
That's good because it's the inverse of light and yet it glows. She, exactly. She glows. But it's a dark light that brings you down to the underworld. It's the your soul. And the light homunculus has seen a little bit of a resurgence since now she can be used in a DB12 team alongside two 2A raw oaks and a verd with her strip on skill one and rock on on skill three. She brings in a strip, attack bar reduction, attack buff, survivability with immunity and shield, and it's basically an extra raw oak. Yeah. She's also good in MB12 for the same reasons and notably there with counter phase for the defense buff and getting to revenge when the boss hits you and just break the shield. And if you do this following skill choices, you can get three hits on skill one, three on skill two, and four on skill three. So the dark one can help you break that shield pretty easily and kill the boss. Have, have you heard about Arena and Guild Wars? <laughs> because you can, you can use her there. There's a lot of combos that you can use these two guys for, and also they're element neutral. So as you know, the main thing about guild content is predicting what the defense is gonna do against you. And you can make people attack them, you can make them be neutral and not get attacked, and that will make your whole team function very well. But you can't use them in RTA. You just can't. Let's talk about runes for a second. So you got yourself a dark homunculus that you're planning on bringing to TOA. How do you rune her? The answer, if you've got this as your third skill, is probably violent focus. Most of the time you're gonna have one of the strip skills on your second skill too, so you're gonna wanna land that defense break or the stun, and the third skill just works. So you're gonna want it up more often, and having additional turns through violent is a great way to do that. The same build works for the light one and DB12, MB12, or any place because she also needs some accuracy to land the strip of the skill one and the attack bar reduction, but if you're making a speed team, especially for DB12, we recommend triple fight, double fight with a little bit of shield, anything goes. Do you think if I punch at the screen, it'll like change the focus? A little bit. I don't want to risk it. It's okay. I redact you the already punches. Did it. I redact them. You already I redact it. Oh, how are we doing? Oh, do we end? Oh, come here, come here. <laughs> the video's over, see you later. No, <laughs> we hope that now you don't need support because you already got it and you have at least two friends.